Hi guys, we're Owen, Lynn, and Maggie of Van Trek and Lifestyle. And today, we're going to take you to our next stop in the Great Smoky Mountains, which is... Elkmont Campground near Gatlinburg. Come along with us. stop at the Sugarlands Visitor Center and find a place to park hopefully that has a clear view to the sky because we don't know what we're going to have when we get there and we want to be able to download some shows to watch in case it rains. So we made it to Sugarlands Visitor Center which you love to go into places like I this. I do and I like to check out you know what's what there is to do in the area. So and We'll plan our day, plan weather today and tomorrow and yeah. see what's going to be available for us to do outside and then we'll see what happens. Okay it's a pretty good setup here actually. It really runs from this compartment here and then here let me show you. We have Starlink in here works really well from there. Run the cable out and lower the bikes point it up that direction and let Starlink connect let's go inside because it's starting to rain let's see if we're going to be able to get connectivity and by the way it wasn't supposed to rain today it tells you something huh well we've checked the weather everything's working fine with the internet here we have some shows that are downloading we're going to take maggie for a walk but we had a springtime shower pop up that was not in the forecast. Well, it rained for about 45 minutes, and one well, good thing about that is kind of cooled things off a little. That's a good thing. We're going to head over to the visitor center now and just pick up a little literature, just kind of walk around, let Maggie stretch her legs before we go check into our campsite. <laughs> you guys look wet. Uh oh, I'm so sorry. When you're traveling in an RV, there are a few things that are, well, what we'd like to call necessities. And there are some things that are nice to haves. We used to think that connectivity was a nice to have. In other words, being able to connect our phones up to the internet and to get messages and other things. But you just heard that young lady say they were stuck on the trail. And if you don't know that, there is a trail that goes from the Sugarlands Visitor Center all the way over to Gatlinburg. You could be halfway on that trail back here in a storm like we just had hit and well you're either going to get really really wet or it could be more serious than that so for us being able to be connected with our cell phone verizon lte when we can but with starlink when we can't well that's now a necessity later on in the video we'll tell you some more of the things as we use them that are necessary for us and what we think are nice to have so it just makes the trip a lot more fun but for now what's fun for maggie is walking around and smelling and doing her business we're not going to go too far because lynn's in the visitor center and we don't want to go you know lose her this is something new i started charging for the little pamphlets Look at that timing. Not sure why we uh, worry about trying to look up when it's going to rain and not rain because it said it's going to rain again in three hours. Kind of looks like it's raining to me. Feels like it's raining. Not bad though. It feels good. Feel walking good to you rain. walking in the rain. <laughs> All right, let's unlock this. Put Dishy back up. You unlock the door for me? I will. It was a good walk out there. We went a, maybe a mile. We did run into one gentleman that said he'd been tackled by the ranger. And then the ranger stopped and talked to us to make sure he wasn't giving us a hard time. So I guess you just got to be careful about what you do. Apparently it all had something to do with not having a bathroom when you're out on the road. Now, for us... That's also one of our necessities. We want a bathroom that we can use when we want to and not have to stand in line and have it anywhere we go. So another necessity for us, a bathroom. OK, 
Okay, we got to our site and it's raining, so we're going to hunker down a little bit and let this rainstorm pass and then we'll get out and set up camp and see what there is to do. It seems like a lot of this is happening on this trip. Yeah. Looking out, watching the rain. And... There's a couple of campsites behind us, but I don't think that campground or that loop is open yet. We're sitting here trying to figure out what's using 7 amps or 93 watts of power. Kind of thing you have to worry about when you're sitting out here. Usually our 400 watts of solar on top will keep us, you know, everything pretty good and topped off and then we can crank it up or run the generator at night and get it topped off more. But when it's raining like this and overcast, we have to watch it a little closer because most of the national parks that you visit, the campgrounds are dry camping. So it's going to be the case for this entire trip. That's the ice maker there. No, don't, don't, you don't have to. So it brings us to another thing that we have in the van that we haven't had very long, have we? The ice maker. Oh, yeah. It's not a must-have. But, man, I sure like it because we put the filter on the water, so mm -hmm. I'm drinking, you know, from, you know, from the water tanks. Mm -hmm. and to these great big Stanley yeah, cups. So having ice really makes that. It makes a big difference, Yeah, because it? used to, we used to put, you know, the big water jugs in the refrigerator and it kept them cool, but... Yeah. Yeah. That's the so what we decide that. we're going to do since it's going to rain for the next two hours? Um, I think we're going to ride into Gatlinburg, maybe ride into Pigeon Forge. Yeah, we'll we have don't to know yet, so we're we'll just going to kind choose of which one we go to. But yeah, that's right. Yeah, maybe go find something to eat. Hey, maybe go to Apple Barn because it's hey. one of Owen's favorite places <laughs> to go in the world. Yeah. Quarter mile. Turn right. It's like a water and sewer. This is a different way. <laughs> definitely a different way. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely made a wrong turn somewhere, but hey. Yeah. This turns into dirt. I want to be great. Two miles, we get to 321. Hey, the road's a little wider now. Yeah, at least it's got a yellow line on this one. Maybe that was just a shortcut. Like it was. Yeah, it's a shortcut. You're back online. You are on the fastest route. You will arrive at 4.07 p.m. Turn right, then turn right. Probably older than you. How old are you? Mm -hmm. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So tonight for dinner, something simple, really simple on something new for us. And tonight for dinner, well, we're a little tired. So we're going to do something pretty simple. We're going to do Panera bread, broccoli and cheddar soup on the black song. Let's get started. Now what we're hoping is we can actually turn the flame down a little lower so I can cook slower on this because Lynn told me that I've got to watch this broccoli and cheddar soup like someone's getting ready to steal money from me. So this is a pretty easy meal with just one ingredient. But in order to get that one ingredient, you need to have a membership at Costco. Jury's still out on this two-in-one Blackstone. Very few times when we're out camping do we need something like this. 
But when we need it, it's really good to have. Now, the other thing about this is, I don't think this is hot. No, it's not. This is a non-stick surface, so you don't have to worry about seasoning it. And it's big enough to put maybe, what, four hamburgers on, a couple of steaks. If it works, it's going to be a really good addition. If it doesn't work, well, it's going back to Walmart. <laughs> you can't lose, can you? And you want to know my thoughts about it? Yeah, my I do. Are, you do? I do. <laughs> I, I really do want to know her thoughts. The, the burner, I'm not sure about the burner because we have burners on our outside stove that we could use. So we're kind of doubling up on that. And we also have a burner for the induction cooktop. So to me, it it, make, to me, it makes more sense to have griddle. The whole thing does, be a griddle. Than it does to have a burner on there. But I can see where you like to have it all together. Where it's very, very hard to control the temperature on the outdoor kitchen in the Echo. I mean, we all the time burning stuff. and We have to turn it way up in order to make it work. And, right. and we it's, had to take the grates off for it to even heat up. So, I mean, it's just, it's, it is a pain to cook out there. So yeah. I understand why he wants something. Yeah. Now we're going to make this better by adding a few things to it, but we won't do that until right before we put it in the bowl. It's getting close. <laughs> do you like broccoli and cheddar soup? <laughs> you want to see what your daddy was doing? And while I've been cooking tonight, Lynn has built us a fire. Good job, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's uh, put these in the bowls here. Man, that looks good. Remember the last episode we went to Peter's? We had some extra bacon. I'm gonna put some extra bacon in. Can't go wrong with crumbled up bacon. We also had a Mexican meal last night with this Colby Jack cheese. We're gonna put a little cheese over top. This soup is to die for. This is awesome to be out here. We're really excited about it. And let's eat. I think it tastes better while we're out here instead of at home. I think it does too. Okay. Awesome. It's pretty hot. We're at the table, but I think we're gonna go sit by the fire and eat. This is it's just too pretty out here just to sit at the table. Hey <laughs> boo. Bacon makes it even better. I know bacon makes everything better, doesn't it, Buck? Kind of funny, we don't think we've ever eaten this at Panera Bread, have we? Once in Boone, I believe, when we were up there. It was cold, I can't remember. We can't remember where we've eaten. We have a hard time remembering the places we go, but luckily we make these videos and we can always look back on them and see the places we've been, so. Mm. All right, guys. Catch you in the morning. Maggie what do you think? What do you think, Maggie? Maggie got her a little suit too, just in the lid. She might be spoiled. <laughs> you think? Our daughter got me this for Christmas, and we haven't been able to use it yet because, believe it or not, since then we haven't been anywhere that's had bugs. Till tonight. But I just got. That's why it's so mosquito with this <laughs> maybe maybe i oh, know he could be good morning we're out here this morning looking for a bull elk we just heard him bugling over here and we came out to the water's edge to see if we can find him and yeah not here must have run off to try to get away from the rain you can tell there's a huge storm going over right now, so it's getting ready to rain again, but look where we woke up. And I need to run to get back. <laughs> Put everything up. It's starting to rain.
has been raining this morning, but we were just saying that it could be worse. We could be in a tent, and that would be bad. Or we could be in an RV with children who can't go outside. That would be bad. Lynn may say she's with a child right now, and I'm all cooped up, and I'm ready to go outside. I'm acting like a kid, maybe, but I don't know. It's supposed to quit raining in about an hour, and we have big plans for today. You going out in the rain? Yeah. I don't want to stink up the bathroom because I'm stuck in here. <laughs> oh, that's, we appreciate that. I know. Woo! I know. It's just over there, but I, I got to go way around. Okay. Maybe. You don't have to. It's interesting content there, isn't it? <laughs> We're not that far from the uh, bathroom. Let me see. It's right over there. But I don't want to walk through all the wet grass, so I've got to go around the road. But uh, That's cool. Oh, you can't get back. Mama, I need to get up there with my daddy. What? What? Nope. Nope. <laughs> that tail. <laughs> I need to get with my daddy, Mom. I'll put my shoes on. This Mama's put on her what? shoes, please. Can you go around her? Hey, go around her. Hey. <laughs> no. Can't go down from there. Yeah, it's too far, Mom. Yeah, he's so cute. What's going on over there, Maggie? My daddy got back, Mom. He took the Browns to the Super Bowl, and now we're snuggling. Pretty precious. Pretty one, precious. Bro. That's what we do in the rain. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So we're back at the Sugarland Visitor Center have our bikes and sun finally came out a little bit but we're both sad it's really really muddy it's a gravel trail and there's not a lot for maggie to do over there so maybe in the distance you can hear the generator going in her air conditioning and she's locked away in yeah. the van here she'll be safe it's just hard to leave her it is it? hard to leave her but it's really really hard. not knowing the trail you know it's kind of i think that's yeah. our best choice and if you've ever been to the strip in uh uh, Gatlinburg, there's not a lot for her to do there. There are a lot of people walking. It's crowded, yeah. so it's better for her to stay here. So let's get on the trail. We should have about two miles on the trail. A couple of things to stop and look at maybe along the way, and then we'll be on the uh, main drag of Gatlinburg. <laughs> Gatlinburg here, 1.7 miles. Wow, look at this part of the trail here. This is so pretty. Being able to, uh, to do this, yeah, this is perfect. You can park for free at the visitor center like we did and then either walk the two miles, which isn't that bad. Okay, we made it to the end of the trail. Now to try to figure out where we are and where to go. One thing we learned coming here is there's very little uh, parking for bikes here. So we're having a hard time finding a, a place. We actually did a uh, flagpole and locked it to that. Maybe so. We'll see. We're okay. What's cool is the very first thing we came to is really what we came here to go to anyway, the Nantahala Outdoor Center. Really cool outdoor store that's here. It's got a little bit of everything and uh, kind of excited about going in here. And we can't buy too much because we can't get it back on the bikes. One of the cool features about the store is they have a swinging bridge inside the store. Look at this. Made it 
maneuvering back, didn't fall. Calhoun's for lunch. So what do you think about riding bikes down here? That's pretty... I thought it was really cool. The yeah. trail was really nice. It would actually be a good walking trail. It would. It would. It was only a couple of hills that was, you know, steep, but... And crossing the water was fun. And being down here now, I'm not having to worry about parking. That's really, really yeah, cool. Yes. You worried about Maggie? A little bit. <laughs> I might leave my little girl. I don't either. Hope it's good. We ordered and uh, we'll, we'll show you what we get. But we we're thinking about cooking tonight, but yeah, it's three o'clock now. I doubt we do that. Seems like when we're on the road, we have a tendency to eat one meal a day. We do. Maybe we breakfast a little bit for snacks and then one meal. That's it. I'm not sure that's good or bad. Well, it's what it is. It is. <laughs> Bikes are still there. They'd have to pick them up and kind of slide them over the top of that flagpole. So I don't think they'd be able to do that. Okay, we're going to take the Great Smoky Mountains National Park Gatlinburg Trail back to the visitor center. Just two miles. It's a little muddy, but we enjoyed the ride over and think we'll enjoy our ride back. And yeah, we always have mixed feelings about going into Gatlinburg. It's a cool place to go, but I don't know, it's so touristy that it's not really our cup of tea with the exception of one place to get donuts and a place we used to get Rubens that has now gone out of business. So, but it's so nostalgic that a lot of times we'll go even though probably we don't even want to. But we're happy now to be in the shade and heading back over to see little Magdalene. Be careful of the mud. I don't hear it. Hey, bud. Hey. Hey, sweetie. It's not in there. It's not cool, is it? I'm so sorry, bud. What happened? Wow. All right, so we left the generator running with the air conditioner on, and it stopped, which is not a good thing. That's the second time. Uh, you probably watched one of our episodes. We had issues with the generator. We thought Maggie would be completely safe. I left fans on in there just in case this happened and I'm glad I did. Okay, we did a little bit of uh, detective work and there's still water from where the AC has been on out here. So it hasn't been off more than say maybe 15 minutes or so, maybe 20. Um, it's not unbearably hot in here. It's just not as cool as we like it. But if something had happened and we'd stayed for another hour or two, yeah. she would have been a lot more miserable. Um, that's the second. Our biggest fear, though, it it is, is our biggest fear that we leave her and and everything quits working. And we so kind of waffled as to whether we wanted, to if we needed to leave her or we wanted to take her. And it was so hot over there, I don't think it would have been a good thing for her either. But you know, uh -huh. We haven't left her very long at a time, but um, the times that we have, like, running to the store and stuff. And, you know, sometimes it's because you don't have enough gas, but we've got a half a tank of gas. Mm -hmm. and so that's it's not because of that. Um, okay. Just crazy. But, oh well, we'll make the most of it, won't we, Maggie? That's right. That's right. No harm done. That's good. You're I'm glad right. you're okay. All right. A lot of walking Let's head to back over to the campground. We made it back in just in time to be in before there's a hail storm. So Elkmont Campground, what do you think about it? Um, I think it's your typical national park campground. It is dry camping, rustic. It's got lots of water. It's beautiful. 
It is right now. It's a little overgrown. They haven't cut the grass in, I don't know. Yeah, nothing's been mowed or weed-eated or anything. It's kind of, and there may be a reason for that because there are a gazillion butterflies here and they yeah. may be leaving it for wildlife. So right. we don't know that for sure, yeah. but it's not going to impress you when you get there and it being really, really clean, at least right now when we're here. And some of the restrooms are still closed. Um, some of the loops are closed. Some of the loops are closed, but it makes for good walking. It does, doesn't it? And bike riding yeah. around. Maggie so. saw her first turkey up close yesterday. Yeah. We didn't get it on In the film. campground, yeah. Yeah, so that was really cool. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely a place we will come back to. It's a place that we love simply because you're in the middle of Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge and there's just so much to do in both of those. You saw yesterday we went into Gatlinburg on bikes and that was a lot of fun and we drove over to Pigeon Forge and you know if you're into that kind of thing there's a, there are a lot of restaurants and a lot of fun things to do and if you want to go spend a bunch of money it's a good place to do that. Yeah. But, but you kind of got the best of both worlds because yeah. you do have something that's close by that you can, you know, go and entertain yourself or you can just stay here and enjoy nature. Yeah. And that's kind of like what we like to do. We would recommend that you come. Just keep your expectations. Also plan before you get here because you're going to find that just like all the campgrounds in this national park, there's no cell phone connectivity at all. Zero. Yeah. So just, just plan for that. But you can go to the visitor center and this spot uh, about... 10 minutes away yeah. driving and not that many miles but um there is cell phone signal there yeah a little cell phone in there is wi-fi in the visitor center so so we'll call that a wrap for elkmont it was a great stay for us one that we'll remember because well we had hail we had rain we had we rain had every day like a couple of times a day so <laughs> but we made the best of we it did. we hope you do too and we hope you've uh, you're safe during these springtime storms and see you next time